Hello everyone, welcome to Satra's Mushroom Mini Class. I'm Anna, nice to meet you here. How much do you know about oyster mushroom? Today, let's talk about it. Oyster mushroom is also called Pleurotus ostriatus. At first, let's see something about the morphological characteristics. In color, there are white, gray, black, golden, red, blue, different species. In China, many growers choose to grow gray oyster mushroom by PP or PE bags in rooms and warehouses. But in Korea and Japan, they are great by bottles. For example, Pleurotus ostriatus has a fan-shaped cut and short stalk. You can use this feature to distinguish it. Pleurotus ostriatus has a strong vitality. But do you know how to grow oyster mushroom will be better? First, nutrition source, carbon source and nitrogen source. For carbon source, there are cotton seed husk, sawdust, corn cob, bagasse. As for nitrogen source, there are brine, soy flour, urea, livestock manure. Second, temperature. As you know, different varieties have different requirements for temperature. For mycelium, the best green temperature is 22 to 25 Celsius degree. For fruiting, it's 10 to 25 Celsius degree. Third, water. Like us human, oyster mushroom also loves much water to be alive. It's very essential. At the stage of mycelium growth, the substrate water content, air humidity would better be 60%. And for fruiting stage, 60% substrate water content, 90% air humidity will be best way to go. First, illumination. At the stage of mycelial growth, no need the light but scattered light is required for fruiting body growth. Like us human, normal life must need the sunshine. Fifth, air. Oyster mushroom loves air oxygen so much. At the whole green, please keep adequate oxygen. But at the starting of fruiting, please notice the carbon dioxide content shouldn't exceed 0.50%. Six, pH value. pH value please be controlled between 5.5 to 6. During mycelial growth, the pH value of the culture material will gradually decrease. So, when preparing the culture material, the pH value should be controlled at about pH 8. Thanks for your watching and listening. That's what I want to share with you. Hope it can help you a lot. I'm Anna. See you.